Hello folks, this is 2021 May June paper 13 and the question number is 36. This question is concerned with the chapter current electricity as you can see from the diagram. It says that uh, the circuit shown includes a cell of constant uh, internal resistance which is a small r, let me say small r, and uh, an external resistor r, this is r. A student records the emitter and voltmeter readings, voltmeter here, emitter here. Ammeter means it is the current, so I can name it as I. Uh, sorry, it is the wrong way here, and it is here. I did notice the plus and minus. <coughs> uh, she then connects a second identical resistance in parallel with the first one. So now she will connect to one more resistor here, yeah, in parallel. What happens to the emitter reading and to the voltmeter reading? So let me let us use a certain uh, let, let us use certain values here. So let me say this uh, EMF E is equal to 10 volt. So this E is equal to uh, 10 volt. This small r is equal to, it won't be large, so it is 1 ohm. Let the value of this external thing is equal to, equal to 9 ohm. Just use some random values. Now, let me calculate the current here. The current in the circuit will be equal to, which is read by the emitter here, equal to total EMF by total resistance the total resistance here is a small r plus r in fact this r and r is in series they are not in parallel they appear parallel but they are in series it's because the same current flows through both of them same current flows through both of them they are in the same path of the current so that's why they are in a series so it should be equal to e is 10 and this is a 1 plus a 9 10 by 10 which is equal to 1 ampere so the current is equal to 1 ampere and the V across this R should be equal to I into R that's equal to uh, this I is 1 and R is equal to 9 so it's equal to 9 volt so it's 9 volt here and 1 ampere here now what you can do now is let uh, now we have to connect another this resistor R here so we connect another resistor R here this also equal to R now, now the total resistance resistor here becomes this R nu becomes becomes R parallel R that's equal to uh, R by 2 and that's equal to 9 by 2 that's equal to 4.5 ohm. ohm. So now the new current will be equal to I nu is equal to E divided small r plus R nu that's equal to E is 10 and this small r is uh, 1 plus 4.5 so it will give me it will give me so the denominator will be 5.5 uh, so it is a 10 divided 5.5 will be equal to it is 1.8 1.82 amperes so now what happened to the current is the current has increased so current is 1 ampere it was 1 ampere here it is 1.82 ampere it has increased so that means these two choices disqualify because they state that emitter reading <coughs> decreases here we are getting an increase here this is i nu now what about the new volume reading so the the v nu here will be equal to will be equal to i nu i nu into the total resistance now which is equal to r nu that will be equal to i nu is 1.82 into this R nu is equal to 4.5. So that will be equal to into 4.5. It is 8.18 which is 8.2. So it is 8.2 volt. See, initially we have got 9 volt and now it is 8.2 volt. That means the voltmeter reading should decrease. Should decrease. Decrease. Yes, it has decreased here. So this is the correct choice and this one is again incorrect. So this is the, the pure quantitative treatment of uh, this problem. So if we just uh, uh, do logically or empirically, what I can say is, if I connect the resistor here, resistor here, the total R decreases, R decreases in the circuit, so current should increase. And since the total R decreases here, its contribution to the voltage also decreases. Current increases, but its contribution to the total voltage, again to the voltage divider theorem, that will be that will be decreased so the reading decreases so logically it is that but quantitatively if we have to be certain so this is the treatment here